How you doing folks? We're here in Charleville. Absolutely fantastic. Titan and a Model A, if I get my head into this, a Model A car conversing into a tractor owned by John Bradley. We're just here in Charleville, just to say Cork. Um, there was a bit of, I suppose, um, an auto jumble, a bit of a vintage sale on here today. Um, this fella, the signage man, um, very kindly sent me on a couple of jackets, uh, a couple of thermoses, a couple of flasks. If you want to be in a chance to get this jacket, not this one, this is mine, I like it, you're not getting it. A jacket, a thermos or a flask, give a like, give a subscribe and um, leave a comment in the thing below and um, we'll send you out a jacket. We're going to swing the camera, we're going to give a look at the Titan first and then we're going to give a look at the, the Model A. Here's the Titan. Um, I looked up a small bit about the history of Titan and Titan as, as a company. Uh, apparently Titan started off going away back in the 18 somethings whenever. Um, what they actually started off was making wheels for carriages and all this kind of stuff. Um, I was looking into it. This is your, your dynamo for your spark. I don't know what that is. Big box. Um, she's a two cylinder um, factory built tractor. Um, there are your brakes in the back. Absolutely fantastic um, piece of equipment altogether. Do you know when you think about this and think about what it was and look at the drives, um, it's all chain driven inside there. Um, I was looking at this, that's for oiling your, your wheels. I presume you fill that of oil or some kind of oil or grease and um, fill it up and it works away. Um, this here in front where you see Titan 1020, that is your radiator. Um, the 1020, I know I, someone told me one time, but the 1020 was definitely to do with the horsepower. Now, this thing here, I was looking at it here a while ago. It's um, suns and something, but it's upside down. So I presume the steel for the Titan tractor was reused off of something else at some stage. Um, here we have the Titan engine, whatever, I mean, what does it say? Um, International Harvester Cooperation. Oh, I didn't realize it was part of the international group. Um, I don't know whether you can see it or not now with the sun shining it. Um, Titan patent, patent pending. And another thing I noticed when I was looking at this is the, the not the dynamo, but the, uh, the oak that creates the spark. I said the name two minutes ago. That's actually written on it was a Model A. So I'm just wondering, was that off a Model A Ford car? Um, just a fantastic piece of engineering. Of course, an awful lot hasn't changed between, we'll say, this tractor and the, we'll say, the modern day tractors. They're still the same look, the same everything, the same whatever. You have your radiator, you have, that's, I know what that is, is there exhaust? Uh, magneto, that's the word I was looking for. And the magneto says Model A on it. So I'm just wondering, is it off a uh, Ford Model A car? You have all your controls here, all your mechanism. Like I said, she's two cylinder. Uh, if you swing around here, you can see the, the open uh, valves. There, four valves, two, two exhaust valves, two inlets, two outlets, whatever. I'm not a thousand percent too sure too well up on it. But uh, that's it. You have your brakes here. They're like disc, like, what do I call them? They're not disc brakes, they're shoe brakes I suppose um, you pull the lever there and she it's like a bend I suppose a banded brakes you probably call them for all the world chain driven off of the boat wheels there is your steering mechanism all the way forward from underneath we follow it back and uh, do you know what's amazing like like this is probably 1915 1916 this tractor and go back very very only a couple of years before that and you had the steam engines and the steering mechanism was completely completely different all right guys here we go to our Ford Model A Ford Model A car roughly about 1920s no, uh, MOT, no MOT required um, 1920s um, the story as with this yoke is that it's actually a factory conversion into a tractor um, I'm just looking at it there, there's a couple of slight differences. Um, she's four Model A, probably built in the 1920s. In, in and around the 1940s, I presume during World War II, or maybe just before, just after, just after, just during maybe, World War II, uh, couldn't get your hands on tractors. So this is what you actually had to do. You had to bring in your car, the Ford company would convert it into a tractor. Now I presume at some stage there was cleats on this, like there is on the, the Titan wheel over. Um, 
very similar. All they did was look, this is all extra. This is the original Ford Model A chassis. This was bolted onto it. And if you look back here in the rear, um, this would have been the um, the original Ford Model A axle where that comes out here onto the cog driving it. And this was all in the frame. So it was an easy enough conversion really. The, the frame was probably made up and you just bolted the frame onto your your truck. So, you know, I don't, it's, it's a simple, simple conversion. Very, very rare, absolutely very rare to have it in such absolutely fine condition. And again, belong to John Bradley. John Bradley's here from Charleville in County Cork. You can see your, your axle there, the whole lot. And you could put on your plough or like a lot of these tractors would have been used and they would have been used for um, pulling horse-drawn equipment. Um, so at, the, at this stage there was very, very little um, tractor um, equipment available. The tractor equipment didn't really become available until Harry Ferguson came up with the idea. And believe it or believe it or not, Harry Ferguson and Henry Ford never ever made money out of selling tractors. Harry Ferguson made all his money out of um, selling implements. That's where he made 99% of his money out of implements, not, not the tractors. So guys, that's kind of it. That's kind of a quick walk around and a quick look at the Titan 1020 and the the Ford Model A. So, um, like I said, give a like, give a subscribe and leave a comment if you want to get a jacket or a thermos. And uh, we'll see you all in the next one. Cheers guys, thank you.